What's up, YouTube? It's been a little while. Um, been kind of procrastinating, waiting for materials, and just started a new job at down by school, so it's been kind of every other weekend I get to come up now, not every weekend. Um, that and, like I said, it has been kind of busy with getting a new job get materials and stuff like that but today I decided we are going to just go ahead and box the frame with what dad has here it's a little thicker than what I want to use it's um, maybe we can get you to focus here I wanted to use 3 16 inch steel but I think this is like quarter inch steel. Wow, that lighting is making my face look bad. But anyway, it's a little dirtier than what I wanted. I wanted to get fresh metal from a welding shop, but I haven't had the time to go get any metal. So, so hopefully we get to make a uh, box the frame and make the trailing arm mounts. We're gonna try and get the box or frame boxed for sure today so um let you know what happens in a little while okay um now i'm making a template for the steel before i cut it because you know that's probably the smarter thing to do and this is the top of the frame how it's kind of formed for me because up right here right Oops, sorry. And there is the frame is kind of bent up a little bit. I wanted to heat it um, a little bit and bend it back down, but I don't want to screw up the integrity of it, the strength, the st yeah, the structural integrity of the metal. Um, but here well on top here i was able to just take a sharpie and take and run the sharpie along the top of the frame rail and make my mark and then make my cut down here is from uh, where are we here uh, whoop, right from about there to uh, right when you get to the cross member if you don't take a cross member out like i did you only make it so far until you can't get your sharpie um, up underneath of the rail to where you can make your mark. So what I did is just set the cardboard on the frame rail again on the inside of it um, and then took, I think what I took was this extension and all I did was I beat on the edge of the frame bottom of the frame rail and made a little indentation to where I, now I can make my mark and make my cut for the template and then put the template up on the frame rail again and see how it fits and how it looks and then I can uh, maybe put it on the metal over here what I think I'm gonna just do is put it on the yellow side so I can see my black sharpie and Hopefully get the plasma cutter working today. Last time I was having some trouble with it, but hopefully it'll cooperate with me today. And maybe we can get one side in shortly. Uh, we'll be right back. And here is one unprepped side for the right frame ramp. My bad, I'm stuttering today for some reason. Um, when you use a plasma cutter, just remember to cut a little bit off of your line, just like any other else, any other thing you're cutting, just kind of cut a little wider. That might be a little wide, but nothing like a grinder won't fix. So, sorry about all the noise. That was an air compressor just shut off, and there's someone making wood for the winter outside with the chainsaw if you hear that so hey guys it's a 
couple weeks later um, from the last little clip. Uh, I didn't get the enough video to really make a good video. Um, let's try and block some of that lighting. I don't know. Uh, let's face this way. Um, but anyway, I didn't get enough video to make a good solid video, so um, I decided just to wait and put out a video. Get some more unboxing the frame and stuff. Let's turn that off and um, see where it gets me. Um, gonna try and get the motor in this weekend. I'm gonna see if I can get some help from a friend. Actually the same friend that helped rip off the front end. So we'll see about how that works out. Um, um, what else? So yeah, we're still working on boxing the frame and hopefully make motor mounts this weekend and then maybe see if we can get that motor set in there. I'll just have to shave a little bit off of the um, uh, tranny cross mount, uh, that one. <laughs> um, so yeah, wow, that lighting is horrible. Probably don't help that it's a kind of a foggy morning this morning. I don't know. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's a little update from the last little clip of this video. So we'll keep you tuned in and see where it gets us. Ah. Hey, you guys, we're back. Um, well, I got the pieces that I'm going to use to box my frame in or tacked in onto the frame and then going to wait for my brother because he's kind of certified in welding so he has a little bit more welding skills than I do and I'm more confident in him doing it than I am getting enough penetration and stuff like that and then um what else Oh yeah, I got the sway bar mount, or sway bar mounted. I just use the old hangers, or the holders and bushings from the car. I just had to drill new um, holes in the truck frame. I just used, uh, I think it's 5 16 bolts. 5 16 bolt by 1 inch bolt. And then, yeah, I got them in. Gonna keep working a little bit today. Hopefully, phone will charge up. That's why I'm in my car right now. Hopefully, I can get the phone charged up enough to get the phone back into the shop and show you what I've done today. So, see you in a little bit. Okay, guys. Got the phone charged up enough to take another quick little clip here. Um, today, what I got done was... As you can see, got the pieces to box a frame with in, well, not in, in, but tacked in. And then I got the sway bar mounted on both sides. Um, and then I was getting started on the trailing arm mounts down there. And over there, we got the steering column back in. It's not quite all the way together yet. Got to figure out what I'm going to do there. Um, but as far as, you know, it's actually kind of back in the truck for the most part. Um, tomorrow I should be able to get my brother over here to help me box the frame or weld those pieces in. And then next time I'm going to, hopefully maybe tomorrow I can get some material for motor mounts going. I don't know if we have any 2x4 square tubing here or not, but this thing is going to go in very, very soon. I'll probably actually put it in before I fart around with the steering too much so if it get if it if we can get this 
in here we could start running fuel lines and make sure our brake lines aren't going to get in the way of anything and start running all this fantastic wiring actually it's not all that much I think it's mostly plug in the computer and stuff like that that's probably main the, the main part plug that in and hook the ignition up hook a battery up get some fuel somewhere I don't know which one's the fuel line probably one of one of these and one of these rubber ones um, anyway yeah we'll be able to hopefully fire it up not me maybe, maybe not this weekend but next time I'm here working on it alrighty see you later guys <laughs>